Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. At this time, QuickBooks Online Plus cannot automatically calculate finance charges, service charges, or late fees on open invoices. To add finance charges to an open invoice, you will need to add a new line to an existing invoice or create a new invoice for the charges. The first step will be to create the product or service that will be associated with the finance charge, service charge, or late fee. From the gear icon, select Products and Services from the Lists heading. This will open the Products and Services page. Click the New button to open the Product or Service Information menu. This is where you will create your charge as a new product. Select a name for your new product, for example, Late Fee. Make sure the I Sell This Product or Service to My Customers checkbox is selected. Enter a description for the charge into the Description on Sales Forms field, for example, Late Fee 30 Days Past Due. If the charge that you are creating is a flat fee, enter the amount of the charge or fee into the price or rate field. In most states you are not allowed to charge sales tax on late fees or finance charges, so make sure that the Is Taxable checkbox is not selected. If you are unsure of the rules in your location, contact your accountant or local tax agency to find out the applicable rules. If the charge that you are creating is a variable charge, you can leave the price or rate field empty and simply enter the amount on the sales form when you create it. If you want to create a charge that is dependent on a percentage calculation, then enter the percentage into the price or rate field. Make sure you use the percent sign following the percentage. QuickBooks will translate the amount into its decimal equivalent. For example, entering 10% will then be converted into 0 0.10. When using a percentage to calculate a finance charge, you will need to enter the dollar amount to use as the calculation into the quantity column for this particular line item when it's used within a sales form. Finally, select the income account the charge or fee will be associated with. When you have completed your entries, select the Save and Close button to save the new product and close the menu. If you need to create more than one charge or fee, you can simply select Save and New from the drop-down arrow to save your entries and open a new blank product or service information menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.